Okay, so uh, my name is James Booth, uh, and I work in the IBA group at Imperial College London. This work, titled uh, 3D Face Multiple Models in the Wild, is a collaborative effort with a number of current and past members from the group. Multiple models are a family of techniques that perform 3D facial shape recovery uh, from images. In all cases, we have a parametric image formation function mapping a low dimensional input vector uh, to a synthesized image. A cost function is formulated comparing the synthesized image to the image under test, and we solve to find optimal parameters to explain the scene. In all of these problems, some of the parameters are related to a 3D shape model, so in solving the problem, we recover a 3D shape instance. The classic multiple model was ambitious and parameterized the image formation function at a granular level with separate parameters for shape, lighting, albedo texture, and camera, all of which were solved in a challenging joint optimization. For many in the wild images, which feature more complex lighting and occlusions, this was challenging to bring to convergence, making it somewhat fragile to use in practice. More recently, the community has focused on robust 3D shape recovery techniques, driven principally by 2D landmarks found in the image. By limiting or avoiding the use of texture cues, these techniques are indeed robust, but are also limited in their capacity to recover a true likeness of an individual, as they are mainly driven by a handful of 2D landmark locations. In this work, we propose a new middle ground for morpho model fitting, where, where we are able to recover more distinctive 3D shape than is possible in the more linear, landmark-based approaches without sacrificing robustness to in-the-wild effects. To recover detail, we need pixel information, so we will have a texture model, as in the classic case. However, we replace the clean texture model and explicit lighting with an in-the-wild texture model, as is common in 2D face alignment. This texture model has a range of occlusions, eyewear, uh, lighting effects, all baked in. And as we take a SIFT feature on this texture space, we have a powerful, generalizable texture model. The trade-off is that we lose having an explicit uh, recovery of lighting in the problem, but the huge benefit is that we simplify our cost function, and we only now need to consider parameterization over our shape model and camera. This cost, which shares many similarities with 2D active appearance models, is in practice much easier to optimize than the more explicit um, classic approach. To construct our in-the-wild texture model, we need to be able to extract per-vertex uh, pixel values from a large collection of um, in-the-wild images. Due to self-occlusion, this texture basis will always be incomplete, so a robust PCA with missing values is first used to complete the samples before a PCA basis is used uh, to complete the texture, texture model. Training and fitting code for our technique is provided as part of the Mempo project, an open source Python framework for 2D and 3D deformable modeling. Quantitative evaluation of 3D facial reconstruction methods is challenging due to a lack of ground truth data coupled with a realistic in the wild image. Most 3D facial data sets are mainly available with posed high resolution images. Uh, in this work, we make available the Connect Fusion in the Wild data set to aid the community in assessing such methods. This data set is comprised of a number of subjects captured using a Kinect scanner in a variety of less constrained situations. For each RGB frame we provide, we also provide the 3D reconstruction using Kinect Fusion, allowing us to have a ground truth for evaluation of purely RGB-driven techniques. Using this Kinect Fusion in the Wild data set, we show our technique indeed outperforms examples of both the classic and linear varieties of multiple models, and here we show example reconstructions for a wide range of images. Our method is able to, to recover pleasing and realistic 3D facial shapes that have more distinctive details than is possible with the linear-based approaches. Our method copes well with expression and identity variation, and we have ongoing work where we'll be extending the approach to be optimal for video sequences. We'd love to see you at our poster. Thank you very much.